Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next, I like to show you that how to fix this Toyota's uh, broken central lock switch and control unit. And that that unit it is made by Isin. There is this Isin logo in there, and this this part this part belongs to Toyota Corolla. And now I have two lock systems in here. This is broken and this is a workable and fine fine lock system. And when I am keeping here two system, I have analyzed that what is wrong in this my broken uh, lock. And, and I have managed to find this reason that now this central bolt, what is in here, it is too loosened when we compare that that workable lock and let's look that closer okay and here is issue that when these parts moves in here like in in in, in that way that way in here this there is rule that that part and that part must be in joint and fasten together and now this bar and that bar is loosened when we check that we notice that the central bar is not moving i i do in here small cracks and it should move in same same amount than that plate in here when i do in here cross it means that now this bolt lines should move but now it is situation that that only that line moves and how i know that because i have here this workable clock in here and when i do in here same grats in that area and also in here then we can see this miracle that all of these parts are moving next Let's look in here, and now when I move that, these lines are moving. And that means that this is okay, and that one is not okay. And, and this part, I think that I have chance to do so that, that I can actually try, try to first weld that part. Because, because if it manages to work, then everything is fine. But now I am thinking that that this material could be this is this is maybe copper, and and that's it is not working. But let's test. I test that that how it works because it should be excellent, excellent thing. And first I need to set up these things same same way and in here that that these parts are in right position and I check this things that okay it is in here and there was this sensor okay and now I need to investigate that what is this right right position because if I I weld that in wrong position it is bad thing. And now I analyze that that this is workable clock and this is not. I will set up this lock in same settings as this workable lock and I continue soon. Okay and here is my this micmac wells minus cable and I connect it in here and then I have here this mug where is this central and I press that button then this then this wire comes out and next I am planning to weld just this central area and I I take tongs that I can get accurate this uh, 
point and then I have here my protective glasses. And then let's go to do that what happens. Can I can I fix it? And everything should be settings are okay, good. And then I do a little bit. Let's test that can I melt that. Seems that that there's no no connection and that's I insert my this cable cable set in in here maybe we have now this connection. There I try to code. Something happens. Excellent. Sounds good. Because felt is doing bang bang. Then, then is still is oh cool stuff. Okay, let's go to look closer. Okay, and now I have managed to do that small joint in there. And now we check that, that how the system works. Okay. And, and it seems that Okay, now it seems that now it seems that it works excellent, and then we go to test that. But is this really really possible to fix using Micmac weld? Okay, I go to test that next. Okay, and first step is that I need to connect. This my central locks cable in that wire in that that way and when I press these parts in this that way they are now fine and when I like to take it away I press that bit in this way. And in Nokia uh, in in this Toyota way they make sound like that. Okay, when the locking is okay, and then we have here this my lock. It is in there. It is in there, and now well, if everything works okay, these parts should move when I use this door lock. Yes, and now this joint is working. Let's go to look closer. Okay, and there is this my welding joint, it is in there, and let's go to look at how it works. Yes, it moves excellently. Okay, and now this my switch, it is moving just what I am looking for. Excellent. And that means that, that if this welding really works, it might, I need to test that how long this my joint works and next I need to lubricate this joint that this works well and let's go to do that next. Okay and there is this my lock joints and next I need to add there this uh, this lubricant and here I have Motul and name is Grace like in Jan Canadian French speaking people might say that grease like lubricant and grease and then I take in here this lubricant with 
my screwdriver and then I insert that in these joints carefully. And this is really important that I insert that lubricant in all joints and this lubricant makes these parts to move easier and, and I, I need to take those extra extra now I check that how they are moving and, and because also in here little bit lubricant and I Then that part okay. Okay, good. And then when I have made that I have I have made that lubrication, I will install that lock back. And I will report in my next videos that how this works. But at least it, it works in my test runs. And thank you for watching this repair video and have a nice day to you.